Erin had one crusade at close proximity. And I looked at the man from head to toe. There was really nothing there. But there was everything there. In the name of Jesus Christ, blind eyes open, wheelchairs, and you are hearing shouts as if they are fighting, as if it's riot, celebrating all kinds of things. You will see people rise up from wheelchair who you know, medically speaking, even if they are up, the way their legs shrunk, it should not take the size of their bodies. Go and read the books of T.L. Osborne and see the kinds of miracles these people did. Oh, this issue of growing out legs and hands that people are just making a joke out of, these were the guys that introduced these dimensions to the body of Christ. Today they have joined the cloud of witnesses, but they left us what God taught them. And we say, nonsense, don't mind them. It was, it was Kenneth Cope, Kenneth E. Hickey, and Ora Roberts. He built Ora Roberts University today. After many years, it is still standing. You enter into that institution, you will be afraid. You will see a hand praying. There is a fire burning from an altitude to tell you that the fire on your altar should remain. There are all kinds of emblems. Those who have been students of these people, we are seeing the results we are producing. Those who have refused to be students and rather inventors are still gallivanting around the world of relevance. There are research institutes and there are inventions that happen in those research institutes. But before the researchers get to that point, they are trained by those who have obtained. Is that true? When they become co-competent personalities, then on the strength of their qualification, they can now begin to dig further. Do not trust any new invention until you see how much the individual honored what he meant. Do not trust any new revelation until you see what the individuals did with what they found. If I teach you something new and something advanced, find out what was my honor for what worked already. Today, there are all kinds of inventions that we have, planes, but they are not with dishonor to the right brothers. It is an improvement. From the foundation of what they did, we can now build upon and rise. The word of God, God represents the boundary of God's coming in it. Can, can I, I tell you this? Heaven, heaven and earth will pass away. away. Babies, Babies will, will become, become teenagers. Teenagers, teenagers will, will become adolescents. Young, young adults. Midlife and they will become elders. The word of God remains. You will waste your destiny trying to invent a will again. The will has already been invented. It says Jeremiah 6.16. Give it to us please. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Please give it to us. Jeremiah 6, 16. He said, Stand, thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Just because it is old, does not mean that it has stopped being a good way. He says, And walk therein, and ye shall find what? Rest for your souls. My precious people, look at me. There is a path that leads to victory. There is a path that leads to genuine wealth and prosperity that you will lay up gold as dust and not know what to do with it. And yet your heart is still inclined to God. This life of beating left, right and center, hustling, trying to make ends meet. Why don't you pay attention and listen to the one who invented the way you are not the first to seek establishment you are not the first to want to do something about your life you are not the first to want to do ministry you are not the first to look for the anointing the Bible and history is full of men you were born in a Christian family in the Bible here, there were people who were born idol worshippers, and yet they navigated their way until they became custodians of the promise. The things that are written aforetime, they are for our learning, so that we, through the uh, 
how does he put it now the comfort of scripture might find hope how did abraham who came from all of the chaldeans as an idol worshiper what path did he take that later got him at the end of the story we see an exalted man who has now become the custodian of the blessing that he became god's idea of what it means to be blessed to the point that in isaiah chapter 51 here's what he said verse 1 and 2 he says look unto abraham your father he is my recommendation on how i transit people through my word to a life of excellence abraham and to sarah that body for i call him alone i blessed him and i increased him is god speaking to us now this is very powerful pay attention to god's word do not try to invent your way submit to the word of god if the word of god tells you this is how to get results obey that word let me tell you this if i ask all of you right now write a prayer request here and i promise you that anything you write will come to pass and somehow you believe it is true more than 80 if not 90 percent of the prayer request will be around the area of finances lord help us is that true the way these times are now they are not really funny i want to serve you but this thing is not allowing me to serve you you see you're already even laughing as i'm saying it and then number two for many people maybe area of purpose i want to find my place in life i'm confused all of these things have been answered already they've been answered already there is a way that it works in this kingdom but you must walk in keeping with the boundary of scripture that way you can guarantee that in the name of the lord I will come into the fullness of what God has said for me. Can I tell you this? You listen to what I'm teaching you by the word. You will step into levels of anointing that you never believed you will step into. You will step into levels of power. You will dumbfound principalities and powers. Because I told you it is a journey. For a long time it will not look like it. For a long time it will not look like it. But can I tell you this? If you submit yourself to it, meditate on these things, give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear unto all. Number three, is God helping us? The word of God is a revelation of God's system of operation. It's called the wisdom of God. The word of God is a revelation of his system of operation how we obtain results in this kingdom the word of god reveals to us how results happen not just that results happen it shows us how they happen again back to cooking there are books that they sell around that teach you how to cook in case you cannot cook is that true and the book the people are careful enough at the back of that book the people may write their qualification oh this one attended this school they attended this one this one so you know that the person you are dealing with is credible then you now turn to page one pounded yam right and vegetable soup this is how you make it happen page two you want all kinds of um, european cuisines and the rest they will teach you how to do it your job is to trust the people don't just look at it as if these people don't know what they are doing what have you cooked first are you seeing that now the book does not just show you it shows you the finished product but then it tells you this is what to do step one do this while you are arguing there say no i know my own way you will still not be able to get it somebody will come with childlike faith and just say i will follow this to the letter step one do this for five minutes you will do it at least let me try it and let it fail step two do it step three now you can add this one now you can add this one and eventually the food 
the the aroma now starts becoming like the one that he smells somewhere and he says this thing is working and now you add this one you add this one at the end of it he may not quite get it 100 percent but at least he's impressed next tomorrow he will do it again a day will come he will not need to use the book because the book has entered him he does not ignore the book and then one day he can sit down and say wow i appreciate this person but there is something i've learned between this and this the person did not see this but in honor to him now we can improve on it there is something you can introduce in that food are you seeing now so you are improving but not in dishonor to what you met what you met brought you thus far and then the holy ghost in honor of your submission to that truth will now open your eyes to see listen i have told you our children will edit what we now call revelation of our age but if they ignore what we are teaching they will be surprised that they will remain in our yesterday even though they are our future if they listen one day they'll be listening to a koinonia message and i'll be preaching so powerfully and the holy ghost will tell them you see this man did his best with the grace he was given but between this mystery and this mystery he didn't see this one now because you have submitted to honor it let me show you something and it will show you their own message now becomes the improvement of our own are you seeing it now yes a revelation of god's word write this down i've taught you but let's deal with it quickly the word of god contains three things number one promises number two principles number three prophecies the word of god essentially contains three things number one promises don't forget number two principles number three prophecies what are promises god's commitment if you will do this this is what i will do this is my intention for you if you walk in keeping with the conditions that make this manifest write this down you only commit god's integrity to perform when you walk in keeping with his promises and his principles you only commit god's integrity to perform when you walk in keeping with his promises and his principles that means that god loves you but the only way to commit god in your life is when you walk in keeping with his promises and his principles